Hey chef, now since I have these knives, can you show me some knife skills and actually show me how to hold my knife properly? Well in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly hold your knife and we're going to do some basic knife skills on this episode of Hey what's going on here, Jimmy here with the other chef. Today's video is actually a follow up on the kitchen knives. This time I'm going to show you how to properly hold your knife and I'm going to demonstrate some very basic knife skills. So let's head into the kitchen and I'm going to show you what we're talking about. So every time we start with knife skills we we'll always have our non-slip mat and then our cutting board placed on top. Next some knife grips. So a very common one which is usually not a good one is the pointy finger one. This perceives to have control, but you have no control at all. Another common grip that a lot of people do is more of the broadsword grip. This is also not good because you don't have balance. The grip here is what we call the pinch. So we pinch the finger and the thumb together and we're also going to wrap the fingers around the handle. Now, what you see here is what you should be using for your support hand. Notice that this is a claw technique and your front knuckles are guiding that knife. Try not to keep your fingers exposed because you can cut it. Notice that I'm using the rocking motion for the knife. Okay, let's start doing some knife skills. So we have a potato right here, and you notice that it's very wobbly. So one of the things that we do is that we make one small cut to make the item flat. Now we're going to continue to make the rest of the item relatively rectangular shape. This is very key because now we're able to start making our basic knife skills. The first thing we're going to do is cut some planks. So the very basic thing of cutting planks is to keep your knife straight, keep your wrist straight, and most importantly, make one even cut. Notice that you don't need a lot of force and you're letting the knife do the work. Right here now, and I'm turning it so that you can see from the side, is that now we're making our sticks. This is relatively very simple for a very small dice or what we call batons. So this is very common when you are making your dice size, which is what I'm doing right here. So I'm turning the item 90 degrees and making a very simple straight cut down. There's no point in using that portion of the knife. And you notice that I'm spreading out here. I am spreading it out so that you can see the dice. So now I'm cutting more planks to be able to start creating another type of cut, which is a julienne. Julienne are basically matchsticks or batons, which is the bigger one of these. And now you see the knife cuts of those two particular cuts. Always remember, perfect practice makes perfect. And there you have it. So keep in mind that this is just a very basic knife skills portion of this video. There will be another follow-up video in regards to advanced knife cutting techniques and learning different things such as butchering and also how to work faster and more efficiently. Remember what I said in, in the demonstration in the kitchen that perfect practice makes perfect. It's not practice makes perfect because if you practice wrong, then you're wasting your time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications for future content to include a follow-up 
on the advanced knife skills portion of this video series. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.